new player learns Valorant day 16. We're starting off with the frame by frame analysis here of the easy bot over flicking drill. I was hoping to do a bit better than yesterday, and when I broke it down frame by frame, I came to realize that I was pressing the A key quite a bit later. You know, five, six, seven, sometimes even eight frames on my initial warm up. I thought that was unacceptable, so I went and did a couple practice runs um, where I didn't shoot. When analyzing these attempts, I managed to press the keys on the same frame almost every single time, which shows that I can mentally do it, physically do it. It's just about the anticipation of shooting must somehow giga destroy my brain and make it unable to process. So after practicing that a couple times, I went in to go and try shooting again on the end of one of my drills just so I could analyze it again. And breaking it down, I managed to lower the delta between moving the crosshair and pressing the button to around three to four. So I dropped a couple of frames off. It's still too high. So we'll just have to see how it goes tomorrow to see if we still need to continue uh, training this part specifically, or we can move on to improving another aspect of my over flicking drill performance. We hopped into deathmatch with the goal of attempting to not shoot unless my crosshair was on people. When I found someone AFK, I tried to over exaggerate the over aim drill. Um, you know, there, that guy wasn't looking at me, so I tried to do it there as well. When I try to do it on someone that's moving, it just feels wrong. I think it might just be brain lag, and I'll get better at it with time. But I'm really trying to focus on actually only clicking when my when I think my crosshair's on the head. And I notice that I'm still rushing my shots whenever it happens. Like, I get the crosshair on their head, and then I pull the trigger instead of, you know, stopping. Um, but we're seeing the improvements that we want to see. It did lead to some of these funny, super drawn out fights that are extremely painful to watch. But when I was actually connecting shots, it was so much better where, you know, you're just kind of instantly one tapping them to the skull rather than like crouch spraying them and hoping they die. Um, and it kind of lets you see how much time you have in fights. Like I shouldn't be rushing because I'm in a 45 minute fight with this Sage where we're having the duel of our lifetime and then we're getting third party, right? That's why this should be a 1v1 scenario so that we can really just iron out all the kinks. Maybe that's one of the downsides to uh, playing deathmatch. You know, you don't really get to have the ability to have these absolute battles. Here, you see, I'm just getting worried and I kept moving while I was shooting. It's like, okay, calm down, stand still and shoot the guy in the skull, right? Uh, and then he'll just fall over slumped on the ground. And then I'm having the same problem here where it's, I was having trouble getting my crosshair onto people, and then once I started doing that a bit more consistently, I started rushing my shots because I was like, oh, the green dot's actually on the enemy agent. Um, but nothing to worry about. We were seeing slow improvements. It was pretty painful to play because I was just dying a lot. But we did see slight improvement in the last game with more kills, so either I dropped my hidden MMR or I was starting to become a little bit more consistent. Either way, it should lead to higher quality practice, which is what we're looking for. We hopped into our two casual games on the grind to level 20, and we ended up here on Bind. I think that's this map name. If it's not, you know, let me know. And I was mostly at the beginning playing B, and then I'd rotate over to A if they were attacking A. Uh, and here, I was really trying to, you know, just play the game. You know, I was thinking about crosshair positioning. I wasn't really thinking about aiming for the head like I was in my death matches, just because I feel like um, while that's good practice, I also just need to, like, learn the game mechanics. Now, I mostly, when I was playing B, focused on, you know, hookah, their crosshair positioning, absolutely atrocious. But this game felt pretty good because I played relatively well after the downright horrendous death matches where I was aiming for the head only and they were pretty frustrating so when I got to go in here and spray and you know uh, strafe like I normally do it felt pretty good now if you see here I'm using my E ability which uh, for the commenters that noticed I never pressed E before in my entire life I read your comments and you know I do as you command now here I didn't think he would re-peek I thought he was running away which I guess is just kind of not smart um, I don't know if this is like a meta or something, but I kind of like just like holding an angle that's kind of weird. Um, 
and then they don't expect you to be there and you can kill them. I wonder if he can like peek me there a specific way and then I just insta die. But it seemed to work well for me this game. I could hear them diffusing here, so I thought I had our planting. So I thought I had to like push through. But I guess I could have like pinged the map where they could have um spawned or whatever and then just murdered them in there. That might have worked as well. Um and then here we are just, you know, on a budget round and I'm just killing people with a specter. Uh, well, my teammate is, but I'm getting assists. Get killed there from U-Haul. Wasn't expecting them because my teammate was standing like right there. Here in this round, I heard the teleporter go off, so I was late to rotate because the chamber was just sitting in the teleporter. Forgot to clear that angle. That actually happened a lot of times this game and in some of these clips where I just don't clear an angle and I walk past it and then I just die because I'm not expecting someone to be there, which I guess is just like game sense or something else. A pistol round to get a nice little kill through the smoke here due to the uh, information gathered by my teammate. Another time I didn't clear that angle, or that might be a different angle. Um, we actually ended up being match MVP here. Another ult to try to push into due to clean up because I was the last one on my team alive and I die. Unlucky. Um, I was playing with the colorblind mode because I was having trouble seeing people with the red. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually colorblind, but I took a colorblind test and this is the option it told me to run. And it was kind of messing with me because I was expecting people to be red when I ulted and they were yellow. So I think it'll take me a couple days to really adapt to the colorblind mode. But I feel like it is easier to see people. You see how they're glowing yellow? That's pretty cool. Um, and here, this jet was always playing in that corner, but I didn't like internalize that. So I think I died to her one time because I didn't clear that spot, which is just unlucky. Um, but we did end up winning this game 13 to 12, pretty close. I got match MVP, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we definitely noticed that my crosshair placement is a bit better, but I think I just need to be more aware of what's happening in the games. We hopped into game number two, uh, got the Reina again on, I don't know the name of this map off the top of my mind, that doesn't matter. I forgot to record the first couple of rounds, but we continued to just focus on, you know, kind of crosshair placement as well as kind of gunfight hygiene this game. Here I'm holding this spot, I get flashed twice, I just tank them, and then the Phoenix peaks, I die, or I kill them, it's a Phoenix ultimate, so I decided to just swing here because I don't think he would expect me to swing and it ends up working out. One thing I noticed this game is I think there was like some kind of residual frustration from my death matches when I was only aiming for the head and trying only to pull the trigger then, that when I got into the games, I was over spraying uh, because here, you know, disgusting amount of spray. A lot of my fights this game, I was just kind of spraying like crazy, which isn't the best, but you know, it's good that I noticed it because, you know, if I allowed this to develop into a habit over the next couple days as I work on, you know, he getting headshots, it could end very poorly for me. So I'm glad I identified that. Other than that, I did try to play a bit more with my team because um, I have a really bad habit of lurking. Like a lot of the times, if you were paying attention in the last game, I was the last player alive because I just kind of like if my if fights start happening, I'll just like hold an angle and stuff or I'll like flank around the long way for fun. But then if your team dies, it's kind of not very good. Overall, we it was a close game. We ended up losing by one round. So obviously it was my fault. We could have won the whole game, uh, but obviously I didn't perform well enough. Here, I just didn't see the jet, which is horrible because she could have easily killed me there, um, which is kind of messed up because I was talking about the other day, I like playing elevation on Icebox, but then I don't even check all these elevated spots. I would have died, had a clip made of myself like when I killed the Sage the other day, so uh, that was pretty insane. Anyway, you know, overall the game went pretty good. I'm just spraying a bit too much, but I think the crosshair positioning was even better today than yesterday, which was what allowed me to play better, even if I was kind of spraying like a madman. And of course, we finished the day off with day number 9 or 10. I don't know at this point. I'm keeping track of it elsewhere. Wuhujin's 90 day aim training challenge. We hit one high score. You're seeing it on the screen. I was sweating pretty hard. I was like, dang, if I don't get a high score now, uh, the last couple are going to be harder to get a high score on. So I really uh, went all in on this attempt and it paid off. So that's all that matters. I appreciate you guys. See you next time.